Hi Aquarius, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your end of March love reading. Let's just see what comes up. We will reveal this oracle card at the end to see if it resonates with the reading. It'll be for you either way. This is for Aquarius. What does Aquarius need to know? Aquarius. Oh. Maybe you guys have made a decision. You know, that's what I mean, that's what that means. Somebody has come up with a plan or they've made a decision. I know what I'm gonna do. In regards to a relationship, perhaps. Wow. Wow. Okay. So, yeah. I mean, there is something to do with a relationship here. All right. A partnership. Okay. Look at the twos. Wow. Two, 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 faith and trust. Taking the next step. Has somebody decided to take the next step? You know, it looks like there's lack of wish fulfillment here. There's lack of love in a relationship, and I'm sorry. I am. Okay, this is lack of love. I think you're dealing with somebody who is emotionally unavailable and perhaps you have decided you're ready for a new partnership I think there's a new partnership here Aquarius I think you have made the decision to let somebody go that was emotionally unavailable to you and because you have done that there's an opportunity for a new relationship here a new relationship to blossom and bring you something really solid a solid relationship because you've been through a, a period of there was no hope in one direction. I think you've come to the conclusion that, yes, there's no hope there. And I'm moving forward to find the real deal. It's like I think you guys are, are moving forward to find your happiness. I think you've come up with a decision or you've made the decision to move forward. And because you've told the universe you're ready to move forward, they are probably giving you some sort of reward. There could certainly be a new relationship on the horizon for you, Aquarius. I think there could be. I think that you guys are turning your back on the past. You are letting go of the need to fight or prove yourself. It's like I, I, I know exactly what I'm looking for and I am working hard on on getting it. I see that you guys are at a crossroads and you're going down a new road, new doors are opening and I think that it could lead to a solid commitment with somebody. I do. It looks really, really good. I think that you were dealing with somebody that was holding you back, but I think you've released them. I do. I think you've released this person that that wasn't um, giving you the emotional support or love that you needed and so now you've just let them go it feels like i i am letting you go i'm letting this go because that that was never leading to wish fulfillment and i'm ready for my new partner i think that you guys have a new partnership and you're ready to work on a new a new partnership with somebody and you're turning your back to the past you are it's like you're stepping into unknown territory and you're open to it. I'm really open to this new beginning with somebody else. Yeah, I see a lot of happiness here. You guys are. You're working on your own happiness. You're not living in the past. I don't see that at all. It's like you're letting the past go. And I like it. I like it a lot. It's like you, are, you guys are accepting and moving on. Yeah, there's a new beginning here. 
there's a new passionate beginning here for you, Aquarius, and I think that it's because, it's because you've earned it. You've done the inner work that you needed to do to get here. You've done the work to come up with the clarity and the reasoning and the plan of what you needed to release and let go of. I think you guys have made a concrete decision that leads to something solid. All right. And something very passionate. I see a lot of growth here. You've grown, right? You have. There's a, there's definitely a new partner here for somebody. For somebody that's watching this. Somebody, there is an Aquarius, several of you that are watching this, that is receiving something very emotional, loving, kind, committed, solid, passionate. Really, I mean, it looks really, really good. Yeah, there's a lot of sexual temptation here, too. There is. I mean, like I said, passionate. There's a lot of passion here. I think there is a magnetic attraction between you and another person that is undeniable. I think this is a new person in that you got, because you guys have made the decision to move on. All right, there is. I think that you guys are no longer going to be obsessed with the past. You've decided, nope, not holding on to that. I'm letting it go. And you've told, and when you t and when you truly tell the universe, and the universe can see your true intentions, that's when they bring you a reward. And I do see some sort of reward here. I do, even with this devil card. I think that you are receiving something that you are. You know, there's a strong bond between you and this new person that is coming into your life. I feel like the truth is finally coming out. You have accepted the truth of the past and you just you just accepted it. And now you're just stepping on to like a new a new chapter. Yeah, it's like you guys have set the intention. You guys have come up with the clarity that you needed and because you have done that and you have made this choice and you I think that you guys have communicated with the universe that you're ready and they believe you. And because the universe is saying, "Okay, she's ready or he's ready he's ready you are receiving something there's no more self-deception here i see the truth i know what's going on i'm seeing the situation clearly and i think that at this time you know you are being given some some new opportunity in love that is very very passionate very passionate um and it's no longer wanting to prove yourself. It's like, I just want to be happy. And I see a lot of happiness here. I feel like, you know, the the need to fight is over. I don't even want to fight for that anymore. I'm moving forward. It feels like there was a lack of excitement in the past. And you were held back for a little while. But I think the doors are, are opening up for you. And you are, are going through them. I think you were dealing with somebody in the past that was very immature um, and you know you came to that realization that I don't need that in my life and I think that you know now you're looking for a solid commitment and I feel like because you are believing in yourself this is believing in yourself and you that, that and you're now able to follow your own path you know you're you're believing in your path you're believing in yourself your faith has been restored you know, that you are receiving some sort of new commitment. There is a new commitment here, I think, with somebody completely new. There's been some sort of midlife crisis that you have went through where you, have, you felt left out in the cold. But I feel as though that you have gone through some sort of awakening and now you have more faith than ever. You're believing in yourself. You went through a period of pessimism and I think that period of pessimism um, taught you something, believe it or not, it did. I think that you have you know, been seeking guidance and you've been receiving guidance and your inner guide has given you the knowledge that you needed to move forward. It's given you the clarity. I see a lot of clarity here. You guys have received the clarity that you need to move forward. This is what has happened here. It's like I'm no longer going to be the victim here. I'm no longer going to fear what is to come. I am going to just go through this new doorway. Yeah, it's like, you know, I feel like you. this is somebody, this is ungratefulness. So what's this? This is the Nine of Pentacles reversed. This is somebody who is ungrateful. 
no longer going to be alone. I guess no longer. That's what just you guys, I think, are no longer going to be alone. I think there is going to be somebody or somebody there was somebody in your life that was making you feel very lonely. That's what this is. There was a lack of emotional support here. Somebody that didn't um, make you feel very good. You know, it's like they stole your joy and they made you feel very lonely. But I think that you have moved past that. Somebody made somebody really made you feel insecure. But I think that you have taken your future in your own hands. I do. I feel like you guys have decided to take your own your future in your own hands and you're not going to let this person who wasn't emotionally available hold you back. You ain't going to hold me back. I have faith in myself. I believe in myself. To hell with you. Yeah, you were dealing with somebody who was emotionally unavailable. You were. And I feel like you've come to the conclusion that no way, I'm not staying there. I'm not going to stay there anymore. I have too much passion to stay with somebody who isn't available to me emotionally. Yeah, and because of that, you're receiving some new opportunity in love. I think there is a new opportunity in love for you that you deserve, and it could lead to a solid commitment, okay? This is solid relationship, and this is commitment. There is, and this is a new opportunity, and this is a new opportunity, new partnership. I think that you have a new partnership on the horizon that leads to a solid commitment. And, it, you know, I have to tell you, these are both dreams. It's something you've been dreaming of, okay? Also, pay attention to your dreams at this time because they've been telling you, they've been trying to tell you something, your dreams and your inner guide. Okay, I think that you have been receiving guidance from above, and I think that you're listening to it. I really do. I think that you guys have went through a period of growth, and it, it really feels like you are getting what you deserve after a long-awaited period of not getting what you deserve. I think you were dealing with somebody who didn't fulfill you emotionally, and you finally come to this um, conclusion, clarity. You see the things, you see it clearly now, and you've communicated with the universe that I'm not staying here. I'm moving forward. I'm taking this in my own hands. And because you have clearly communicated that, and I think the universe sees that you are serious, that you are receiving a new opportunity in love. And this new opportunity is full of love and passion. And I think this new opportunity is somebody that you are strongly bound to. Okay, with a devil card. This is a this is a, a bond that is undeniable. Okay, and you have avoided a disaster with the one that didn't love you. Okay, because there was no forward movement there anyway. Why stay there if nothing was ever happening? And this person broke your heart anyway. So why stay there? You avoided a much bigger disaster by realizing the truth. This is realizing the truth. Okay. Somebody has realized the truth and had avoided a much bigger disaster. And now I see that you guys are starting a new journey where you will be working together with somebody as a team okay and they are going to appreciate all that you have to offer I, you guys are about to start a new journey that leads to a strong commitment it's going to make you feel alive again right um, you know I don't know who this is but this is a person who is unrealistic ruthless and greedy that's what the card means and I'm not just gonna discount it okay this is unrealistic okay so wherever you were at this could have been your partner whatever there, there was somebody who was unrealistic and only in it for everything but love and I think that's where you have come to the conclusion 
that I'm not looking for unrealistic. I'm not looking for somebody who's not emotionally available. Okay, and that's just reiterating it. It's just reiterating that you were dealing with somebody that was emotionally unavailable. And that's where the clarity has come from. You have received the guidance that you need, that you deserve a solid, happy, loving, committed relationship. And I feel like you guys are taking a risk. You're ready to step outside of your comfort zone and go get it. This is realizing the truth. You guys have realized the truth of a situation and I feel like you have many, many, um, not many, many, but there's re restored faith, okay? There's restored faith, and I feel like there is, you guys are beginning to realize, you have realized, not beginning, you have realized the truth, and you're letting go of the, this difficult situation that, how, that kept you trapped. Yeah, there was a lack of growth there, wasn't it? I think you were dealing with somebody who was very selfish and insecure. And you know you deserve more and you're going for what you deserve. You deserve to receive. And you know it. This is about give and take. It's about equality. This person, this new person that is coming in is going to appreciate you. They're going to work as a team. They're going to give as much as they receive. Congratulations. Wherever you are at, there is a lack of hope. There is a lack of wish fulfillment. And you came to this realization. You're seeing the truth. Your faith has been restored. And you're taking the next step. And you're starting a new journey. And it's bringing you new love. I think this, uh, there is an opportunity here for a new love for you, Aquarius. Because you have realized and you are accepting the truth of the past. A father's love. A father's love for his son or daughter never dies. The strength gained from such love is often un unquantifiable and that it can be tapped into at any time for whatever reason. Whether your father is still here or has passed, a father's love is one of the strongest bonds any of us will ever experience. I think that many of you have stayed in a predicament because of a child I think this is what it is but just because you leave a situation does not mean that person doesn't have to be a father I'm going to get a couple of these for you just to, because I feel like it. I feel like that you guys have a new opportunity in love and that you may have stayed in a situation because of the children and you have come to the conclusion that there's more for me out there and I deserve love. That's what I think it is. Now this will not resonate with everybody. Separation, time apart from your partners on the horizon. That makes complete sense. You guys are letting go of one. And I think because you're letting go of one, there is a new one coming in. Okay? And you are being called to trust and have faith. And then with all the twos, twos are faith and trust. You remember I said that at the re beginning of the reading? And here we have trust and faith. The situation is calling for you to have faith. Have faith in yourself. Your inner guide is guiding you this whole time with that hero font there. You are headed in the right direction, Aquarius. And I feel like you have an opportunity for 
a new solid commitment with somebody that leads to, you know, working together. This person will appreciate you as you are. They, um, they will, it's going to be a solid, passionate, very passionate, loving commitment where you guys, you know, there's equality. There's equality. And I think this person is meant to be in your life with that devil card. And people can look at it however they want. But I feel like that is a strong bond that is, there's a bond here that is undeniable that is coming up. All right. And I feel like you guys um, are turning your back to the past and taking a risk. And I think this is a risk that is going to lead to happiness. Don't lose your faith and trust. Your inner guide is telling you what to do. Do not deny your inner guide. That's the middle card. That's the basis, okay? When the middle, all the middle cards are the basis of your reading, okay? For me, this is how I do it. You guys have avoided a disaster, a much bigger disaster with the past, whoever this was. You are being called to take a risk that will lead to a firm commitment, but... But this risk involves listening to your inner guide, okay? Your inner guide is, is the driver here, okay? The thing is, is that you have to leave something behind to get this commitment that you have been dreaming about. Remember I was telling you about the dreams? This is the commitment of a lifetime. Anyway, that's what I have, Aquarius. Talk to you later.